Hey LifeBridge, my name is Jaden, and today is day 12 of the Easter Devotion series. I'm going to jump straight into the scriptures, the first one being John 1, 1 through 3. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. 1 Peter 1, 23 through 25 says, Since you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and abiding word of God, for all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord remains forever. And this word is the good news that was preached to you. Next verse is Matthew twenty four thirty five, it says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. And last verse, Isaiah fifty five eleven says, So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. So I just want to encourage you, whatever it is you are facing right now or whatever situation you are currently in, as you've probably heard before, God's promises are yes and amen. And as we just read in Isaiah 55, his word will not return empty. It will accomplish the purpose that it was sent to do. His name is Jehovah Jireh, which means he is our provider. He loves you. He's proud of you. And you will see the other side of whatever it is that you are walking through. So set your focus on Jesus today and on his word, because unlike the things of this world and the things we go through, his word will remain forever. And just like it says in John 16, take heart for he has already overcome the world. So God, I thank you for the individual watching this video right now. I pray for the things that they're walking through, going through right now to be broken off in Jesus' name. Thank you that your word will remain true, that it will not fade away like the things of this world. I thank you that this person, these people who are watching would see you, see your word, remain in your word, abide in it, walk with you, walk in your word, and see the thing come to pass. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's reading is John 16 through 20. I love you, and we will see you tomorrow for day 13 of the Easter devotion series.